Michigan game would be on television. Maybe one other game a year, but everybody listened to radio. And my ear was always glued to the radio for, for the Buckeye games. Uh, what I remember about the 68 team was we were roofing my house. I was uh, roofing the house with my dad, and the radio was blaring in every house in the neighborhood. So we sat in the, on the roof and listened to the ball game. And uh, passion's always been there. It, it elevated quite a bit when I went in the military because of the, uh, uh, the pride from the people from Texas, California. Uh, back then, the, the, the service was dominated by guys from Ohio, Texas, California, Florida, same as the teams that were winning. And that was, uh, there was never a dull moment about arguing football. Game day will not allow you to put up anything showing that's inflammatory. So this 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 is how it's held here. So game day lets you in and you say, not in our house. And then when the cameras come in, they switch to this side real quick. Kids grew up with it. Um, during the John Cooper era, when we only won two games out of 13 years, and they thought that beating Michigan was a myth like Santa Claus, you know, yeah, there's a Santa Claus, and they say, well, sure, yeah, well, you told us we used to beat Michigan, too, and then trust will change that in the, in the last few years, we've come around and, and started knocking Michigan off regularly, so the things have swung back, but I've seen the momentum change both ways. This came out in the 60s. For Michigan fans could wipe their butt with Woody Hayes toilet paper. And I got a roll of it, and I've had that since, oh, probably, yeah, probably the 70s. Yeah, this is a Sports Illustrated from 1974. Archie Griffin's on the cover. And I saved this for years and years and years. And I got a picture on the other wall. I got to meet Archie Griffin one night at a, at a, a, a doings. And Mike Boyle happened to be there. He got me back in the VIP room, and Archie signed that. So I had saved this from 1974 to uh, 2002 or so, 2003, when I met him. And that's when he signed that. These are all videos of games that we've taped or I've had the opportunity to come across somebody that's selling an old one. And there's probably 120, 150 games here. And uh, as soon as the season's over, we start watching games, old games, until uh, till next season. That's what we do all summer here. Starting way in the back here, the earliest shirt we have started collecting was 1993. And since that time, we've collected, I don't know exactly, but we're well over 90, I'll just tell you that. Um, here's a beauty here. 68 National Championship shirt. Not too many people have that one. Fair as far as the, the, the best shirt, I don't know if we got a favor, but it, it might be the 2002 National Championship. But every one of them commemorates a bowl game, a victory over Michigan shirt, and for special occasions, we have the shirts with the collars on them. But we are never, ever out in public without an Ohio State shirt.